Hey, Monday. Good morning, Monday. Welcome. Another week. This is getting a bit long here. I probably should maybe shave it or clean it up. It's also a little sign of my aging process. Gonna be 48 next month. I'm getting there, getting there. This is all gone up here, so I say I grow hair upside down here. I <laughs> hope you're doing well. Happy Monday, Daily Dose, episode 148. And um, we're gonna talk about Monday mindset. Monday mindset, so if you're Monday mindset is yet another reset you need to be watching this if your monday is just like all the rest of the days and you're you're at it you're after it and you're ready and tuesday is going to be awesome and wednesday and thursday friday saturday and sunday and they're all pretty consistent and you're doing your part and you're getting the best out of life and you're charging your goals this message is not for you but for the rest of you if your monday mindset is yet again another reset i want you to watch this and listen to this message and uh, I find myself sometimes, I love Mondays, by the way. Mondays are my, honestly, one of my most favorite days of the week. And it doesn't necessarily feel like a reset so much as just like a new beginning. I always love new weeks and not in a sense that I need a new beginning, that I have to reset because I messed up all last week or messed up on the weekend. But it's just something fresh about Mondays. And maybe it's because I do get a little extra rest on the weekends, have family time and have some quiet time and just get to kind of decompress from the week. And that's awesome in Mondays. But I'll tell you what, if you find yourself resetting every Monday, chances are there's something in your mindset that needs to get reset, not just once and not just on Mondays, because what happens, right? You get, you have to hit that reset button on Monday and you're already kind of bummed out because of maybe your choices you made over the weekend or maybe the goals you didn't achieve last week or the stress and the struggle and all those things. So it's saying, oh, you kind of let loose and you relax. You maybe think that if I can just get to the weekend, then everything will be great. And then I can just kind of unwind, kick back with some cocktails, maybe eat some good food, enjoy some great company. And that'll just be what satisfies, satisfies me. And if you're struggling, if you're on like a, a, a journey with your health and you're just kind of going through it mediocre, and then you're like, oh, but you know what? I'm just gonna enjoy this weekend and just not worry about it. Start fresh on Monday. And it's like, ah, and what happens on Monday? The reset button has to be pushed because you're feeling guilty about your choices and you're feeling disappointed in yourself that you messed up again and you had too much to drink and you ate too much and you were maybe too lazy and you didn't accomplish the things you wanted to achieve over the weekend. And here we are, another Monday. Here we are, another third week in the month in August. You know, regardless of, whatever happened over the course of the last five or six months. And I know it was struggle, it's hard not to say it wasn't hard. This way, look, I think my beard is actually a little grayer than it was the last time I, I grew it. And I think that was back when I was in, uh, just before the pandemic. So I wanna ask you this question, if your Monday mindset is a yet another reset, what do you think has to happen in order for you to not make a reset, just to just have a fresh, uh, just a fresh new Monday, just another day, treat it like any other day? Well. What happens is the behavior that caused what the, the behavior has to change in order to change the mindset. In other words, like there's a behavior that goes on and I don't know what that is for you. Well, let's just say this. Here's the thing that happens, uh, not just the behavior, but what drives the behavior has to change. So the behavior itself, maybe you screwed up, maybe you ate too much, drank too much, got too lazy. You know, maybe you just sat around and did nothing and you're feeling like a sloth and on Monday, you're like, oh, I'll just hit the reset button Monday. But it's, it's what's driving that behavior. Is it, do you feel like a, a, a sense of um, entitlement? Like, hey, I worked really hard this week. I can kick back and relax and enjoy and do nothing and sit back. And that's, you know, I earned this. I worked hard for this. I could do this. And then if that's the case and you wouldn't need to hit a reset button because then your weekend would be great and your Monday would be even greater and you'd be ready to go through the week. But there's something that, especially if you're that type of person that likes to indulge and enjoy over the weekends and then you just feel bad about it and you feel guilty and you don't want to get on the scale and you know that that 20 pounds is now 25 pounds or that 25 pounds is now 30 pounds or you go to the doctor and you know that 30 pounds in the next year visit is 40 pounds and you realize that, gosh, I better get a hold of things quicker. Things are going to start to go downhill. Or soon enough, I'm going to have to, I'm going to be forced to take care of my health. I'm going to be forced to be take, take care of action if I don't actually take action now. And I hope this actually lights a freaking fire under your butt because I'm really sick 
and tired of people who say they're sick and tired, yet fail to take action, yet fail to do what they need to do until they're forced to do it because maybe they have a significant health issue or a warning or the doctor says, oh, it's time to go on that on that diabetes medicine because now you have diabetes or it's forced now to go on this blood pressure cholesterol medicine. Hey, you know what? Um, you, you can't go on that vacation because you're not going to be active enough to do the things you want to do on there or you might actually die because you're unhealthy and out of shape. So again, not to put a scare into you, this is Monday, we wanna motivate you, right? No, I'm sick of the resets. Forget resetting, change what drove the behavior in the first place. Here's the thing, if you go into this week and you're inspired and motivated on Monday, maybe you heard this and you're fired up on Monday and things are great and yeah, 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 you can't rely on motivation. You know why? Guess what? It goes away. And then if you don't have a plan, if you don't have any kind of a uh, structure in your day, if you don't have any clarity on the vision you're trying to achieve with the goals, well, I ask people all the time, what are you trying to do? I'm just trying to maintain. No, there's no maintaining in life. You're getting older, you don't maintain. You're either progressing towards better health or you're regressing towards bad health. It's one or the other. You, it, you can't have both ways. You can have one or you can have the other. You're either taking care of yourself or you're not. It's simple as that. So. My question to you is what's driving the behavior? What is it that needs to change? Is it that maybe you rely just on motivation and rely on like, oh, okay, I'll get to the gym today. I'm feeling motivated. Mark fired me up. This is good. Yeah, I'm gonna eat healthy meal. And then guess what? That motivation goes as far as the first curveball that could sent your way, whether the office says you gotta stay there late, or your kids' school, you know, is telling you now they have to come home, or there's no there's no sports, or maybe you're like, oh man, I didn't go shopping for, for food for the groceries. I should have done that over the weekend, but I was having too much fun and I just didn't do that and I didn't plan, I didn't prepare. If you're failing to plan, you're going to fail. That's it. Simple as simple as that. If you don't have any drive, if there's no, this message isn't for you. Listen, if you just like having a ho-hum, mediocre life and you're just going to go through it chilling on your own merits and chilling and not exercising and don't give a crap about the food you put in your body and not think that it's ever going to matter, this message is not for you. Go away. Probably, you know, again, this is, you probably don't even want to stay friends with me and that's cool. I don't mind that. You can defriend me, unfriend me, block me, whatever you want to do that's cool but but if you know that there is more potential out there for you if you know that you are not meeting your potential right now if you know that you you want to change what dr is driving your behavior then do what you need to change the behavior here's the thing one of the things I actually I want to share this with you and you know what it might start sprinkling it's been raining like on and off like every single day but that's right. that's why everything's nice and green in the backyard I want to share with you one of the things just practically speaking that can help you instead of reset something that can help you not just on Monday not just get fired up not just say hey I better change now and then Tuesday comes and up oh, the change is gone and short-lived of course accountability and structure and if you want to know what I do with my coaching clients who are taking action massive action having accountability having a coach to lean on them to call them out when they're going off track to make sure that they're sticking to their goal so that they don't have to reset every Monday Oh, there's nothing worse than having to reset every Monday. Isn't it like, isn't it kind of like a Groundhog Day? You ever seen that movie where you got to get up and hit the alarm and go through the same day and make the same stupid mistakes and then decide like, oh, I'm going to feel guilty about it and have that same feeling of guilt. And then there goes the confidence level that screws you up in your relationships with your, your wife and with your, your kids. And then your job isn't going so well because like, ah, oh, this job kind of sucks. And then you feel bad about that. And you know, all those things, ah, oh, that's so annoying. So I just wanna share with you one of the things, and honestly, I'll tell you what, I had to get back into it today. It's something I haven't done in a while, and that is uh, mindset and affirmation. Something that can be really, really powerful for you is come up with some affirmations, things that you don't just say on Monday because you're motivated on Monday, things that you say every day. Maybe you need to say them three times a day to yourself. And I'm gonna go through the ones that I have. Now, this doesn't mean you can mirror what I have. You can take this as a model. I have 15 affirmations, and I'm gonna share those with you now as a start and a sprinkle, but that's okay. I'm tough, we can tough it out, it's Monday. I have 15 affirmations that I share that helps that helps put the fire in me, not just on Monday, every single day in the week. It helps me change my behavior in my mindset so I know where I'm taking charge of in my week so that I can accomplish the goals that I want to achieve and that's just really like the tip of the iceberg. That can be just one practical way. So let's just do this. Going through one through 15, I might've shared them a long time ago, but I'm gonna share them with you again. I wrote them down and they're really powerful. So 
mindset and affirmations. Here we go. Number one, for me, and these are mine. These aren't necessarily yours, but you can model and do what you want. Number one, first and foremost, I trust in God, and I'm going to do this as a war chant. <laughs> Let's just go. I trust in God to lead my steps. Boom, number one, most important. Number two, I use my time and my talent only to help people. Number three, I am confident in my ability as a coach. Now, you might be confident in your ability as a, you can fill in the blank. You can be maybe confident in your ability to eat healthy during the week or exercise or take good care of your personal health. You make this yours. These are mine. Number four, I give myself the permission to do what is right for me. Not for everybody else, for me. Number five, I'm good at helping people lose weight and get in shape. Well, I better. I've been doing this coaching thing for the past 25 years and I better be good at that. Number six, I give myself the care and attention that I need. It's okay, it's not selfish. It's actually one of the least selfish things you can do is to actually take care of yourself. When you're taking care of yourself, think about the trickle down effect, the ripple effect, whatever you wanna call it, helping others. You wanna help others? Help yourself get well so you can help others get well. Again, you don't have to be a coach to do that. Okay, next, I trust that I am on the right path. That's good. When you have a plan, you're on the right path and you gotta trust that path. Number, uh, let's see, just, 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 oh, uh, number seventh. I actually skipped one. I'm gonna back one. I share my talents in the world by being bold in my faith. But if you haven't figured that out now, I wanna be more and more bold in my faith. I would say is that's what faith is all about. Not just talking about faith, but actually living it out. And I would say is any of you, if you see me, you could call me out. I give you all permission to call me out of my faith if you see me going the wrong way. Number, I already did eight. Number nine, I am learning valuable lessons for myself every day. Here's the deal. If you're hitting reset again, chances are you're not learning the same lesson on that behavior and what drove that behavior last week or last weekend, and that's why you're on reset again. So get off the reset mode. Just set yourself up for, for success, all right? So that's it. Number um, number 10, I trust, my, trust myself to make the right decision. I make a difference in the world. I already said that. Number 12, I am at peace. Sorry, I'm old and, and sometimes I'm forgetful. Number 12, I am at peace with who I am as a person. Now, you might not be where you want to go. You might not be in the kind of shape you want to be. You might not be at the financial level you're at, the relationship level you're at, but you can be at peace today with who you are as a person. For me, it goes back into number one, is trusting God to lead my steps and trusting him with my life because he's the one that created it to begin with. All right, uh, number 13, I put my energy into the things that matter to me. Here's the reality. The only reason why you're struggling losing weight and getting in shape and not making your health a high priority, it doesn't matter to you. If it doesn't matter to you, stop watching this, go do what you wanna do and see if that fills you. See if that fills you. And I'm not saying that fitness and getting in shape is the only, in fact, I can be completely open and transparent as a coach. I know I've seen the people get in the best shape of their life and I know that still doesn't satisfy, doesn't fill you completely. The only thing that can fill you completely is the one who made you back to number one, I trust in God to lead my steps. Well, I'm trusting him to lead my steps because he's truly the only one that can fill me and satisfy me completely. Gives me that sense of content. You can try to do it in your career. You can try to do it in working out. You can try to do it in relationship. You can try to do it in alcohol. You can try to do it in food. It will come up time and time again short and you're gonna have to hit reset sooner or later. So stop hitting reset. Next one. Number 14, I like this one. I am creatively inspired by the world around me. I am so inspired by the world around me. Yes, there's a lot of crappy things going on in the world, but it also goes to, sh it just goes into me leaning on God and saying, you know what, God, I see this world as a broken place. There's lots of crap going on. There's lots of different opinions and people angry and bitter and frustrated in politics and race and, and the world's doom and gloom. But what I see that is I'm inspired by that. And I'm inspired by it because I seeing that, not that I have everything figured out, but I see people who need help. And so long as people need help, then I know if I can pursue my best, then chances are God can use me to help others. Does that make sense? I don't care if you're a coach. You could be a teacher. You can be a contractor. Oh, here we go. We're going. <laughs> here comes, here comes the rain. <laughs> it did this yesterday too. All right, let me see. Hold on here. Let me get this down. Give me a list. Let me just lower this here. Give me one second. All right, there we go. We're going to come in here for a moment. All right, I only have one more, one more, and then we're out of here. We're done. So, okay, let me pull this up here so I can read it because I can't read it down low. Oh, and then number 15. So I, I share this. I'm creatively inspired by the world around me. Be inspired. Don't get discouraged. Be inspired. Know that you have a, a way that you can make a difference. So you can be your absolute best. 
Start with a mindset. Changing behavior has to change what, you, what drives your behavior. You can have a, a behavior of gratitude every single day. You can have a, an attitude of feeling good about knowing you can make a difference in the world today. And you don't have to like change the world. You don't have to do all, you can just change it by being the best you you can be. That's it, it's really pretty straightforward. Number 15, my time and my talent allow me to achieve my goal. Hold on a second here. Get out of the sunlight, there we go, that's a little bit better. My time and my talent allow me to achieve my goals. You wanna achieve your goals? Let your time and your talent do that. How do you let your time and your talent do it? You don't sit back and have to hit reset every week, every weekend. Monday morning, you do not have to set reset. Here's the deal, here's like my last one and that was 15 and here's the bonus. And I write these down, I have a whole, literally I write them down every single day. I haven't been good at it lately, I'll be honest with you, but I am starting to write them back again because they were really powerful. What I pay attention, it's the bottom, what I pay attention to in my thought life has the potential to change the direction of my life. What you pay attention to in your thought life has the potential to change the direction of your life. Can I say that one more time? Can I say that one more time? Please listen to that one more time. What I pay attention to in my thought life has the potential to change the direction of my life. Thought life, what's in your thought life? Are you right now because of your weekend and because of the mistakes, the things you cannot change, whatever is done is done, it's in the past, it's behind you. Whatever you did last week, last month, last year, last five years, it's all behind you. What you have now is today. You have right now is today that you can actually turn, not just on Monday, because here's reality, right? Consistency is going to be necessary. You need to be consistent and intentional. You can't just be intentional about your habits on Monday and then think that that's going to win you on Tuesday and then Wednesday. Well, I'll just put everything I got into Monday. I'll go eat healthy. I'll just not watch the news. I'm gonna just have that positive because Mark gave me that good inspiration. I'm gonna have that positive thought on Monday. And then Tuesday comes and because you have no plan, no structure, no accountability, no nothing set up aside from just being motivated, Tuesday it all goes to hell and it all goes downhill. Boom, quick. And you gotta reassure and reaffirm and give yourself that mindset and, and make affirmations. Again, it doesn't take much. Get yourself a journal. Look, get yourself a journal and write them down. Literally write them down every single day. Give yourself that time. But ultimately know this, you have the ability to maximize your full potential. But if you are hitting reset every single day, you have no chance of making it there. It's like, again, goes back to thinking that Groundhog Day, right? Was it Jim Belushi? John Belushi? John Belushi? Yeah. Groundhog Day, right? I think that was. Where the guy just wakes up and then the alarm goes off and he goes through the day and he gets the same thing and he goes through and he has to do the same thing. Oh my gosh, it's not terrible. Like right now, if you're thinking, I overdid it on the weekend, I drank too much, I ate too much, I had a great week and then I've lost it all on the weekend and, and I don't even want to step on the scale, right? Does it sound familiar? And I know I have to go to the gym, so I'm going to be like every other person that goes to the gym on Monday only. If you were to look at how many people go to the gym on Monday and how many people go on Friday or go work out on Monday versus work out on Friday or eat a healthy meal on Monday versus eat a healthy meal on Friday, it's because you're on that instant. It's like instant reset. And then, oh, I don't see the weight come off because I ate two salads. It's not going to come off. You need to be consistent. You need to actually take action and be consistent. The only way to change behavior is to move and understand what's driving that behavior. So what happened last week, think about what happened last week that drove you into the behavior of going in the weekend and binging and doing whatever the hell you want and then sitting back. That's maybe what needs to change. Again, comes down to this last thing. What I pay attention to in my thought life has the potential to change the direction of my life. So what are you paying attention to in your thought life? Are you paying attention to how many people are dying in the world and, and how to, you know, how, what this person's saying on Facebook about the politics and who this person's voting for and uh, what the president is saying and what this person's saying and what my neighbor put in his yard and blah, blah, blah and all that. Does that really matter in this grand scheme of things? If you're hitting reset every Monday, chances are that's what you're focusing on and not the things that actually you can take control of your life, things that you actually have the ability to change and control forward moving forward right does that make sense i hope it does that's all i have for the daily dose take care have a blessed day we'll see you soon